Hi, this is Stoney. You're watching WinkSound.com. Welcome. Today we're going to discuss making drums inside of your NNXT inside of Reason. I get a lot of producers and DJs that get drum kits and that share files and have all these drum sounds inside of one folder. We're going to start by creating a mixer. Take the mixer, you drag and drop it, and you create an NNXT by holding down shift and drag and dropping. It makes you, it loads up the NNXT without any sounds. So what you do is there's an editor page inside of the NNXT. Come here, you open up the editing page. You have the option to load a sample, but you can also load multiple samples when you do that. So you hit this folder here and I have a drum kit on my desktop. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna select a multiple of samples here. I want the entire drum kit inside of the NNXT. So I hit OK, and it loads up every single sound here. If you notice, it's all highlighted. You come up to Edit. While this is highlighted, while the NNXT is highlighted, you go to Edit, and you come down here to something that's called Auto Map Zone Chromatically. What that does is it takes every single sound, and it assigns it to a note. Automatically, you notice every note is assigned to a key. Once you hit Select Zone via MIDI, when you hit your key, on your controller, you can see which sound is being selected. Once you've loaded your kit and you've created a drum set that's chromatically going across your keys, you can then come up to the actual rack of the NNXT and you have the option here to load, which is the folder. So what you wanna do is you wanna save the patch. You wanna click on save patch and you wanna name the patch a stony kit. It's going to tell you the format. There's only one format for NNXT sample file, and it's right here. And you save the patch. Once you hit save, it creates a patch on your desktop or wherever you want it. So now, if you want to then close this, create another NNXT, and you want to load that same patch, you go to Browse Patch, go to where you saved it, and here you'll find the extension, the patch. And the sounds are actually on the desktop as well. So what I would suggest is that you save the kit and you save the patch in the same folder. That way all the sounds and the patch and everything lives in the same place. And that's how you create a drum kit in the NNXT. I hope the tutorial helped you. If you have any questions, hit me up at stony at wingsound.com, the new social video network for audio creators.